The winter update for Football Manager 2024 has finally arrived and that means there is no better time to get your teeth stuck into a brand new save game. Maybe you're looking for a little bit of inspiration or you just want a challenge. In today's video, I'm going to show you eight different teams that I think are worth your time to take you through to the end of the game cycle. To kick the list off, we're going to start in England. We're in the Vanarama National League and this is Chesterfield. Chesterfield are a team who were relegated out of the Football League system in 2018. And over the past couple of seasons, they've been close to gaining promotion back. They even suffered heartache in a playoff final. They are a team that play at the SMH Group Stadium, which holds 10,500 people. They have a club captain who is Jamie Grimes. Their key player is Tom Naylor. Their hot prospect is Bailey Hobson. They start the game with a regional reputation and adequate training facilities. And in terms of club finances, you will have £200,000 to shape your squad and a wage budget of £47,000. In real life, Chesterfield are flying. They are close to gaining promotion back to League Two. In Football Manager, can you make that a reality? Can you take them even further once you're back there? Next up, we have moved across to Spain, where we are looking at the Primera Federation Grupo 2. And that's where we find fallen Spanish giant Malaga. Once upon a time, a Champions League quarter finalist with players such as Ruud van Nistelrooy and managed by Manuel Pellegrini, years and years of financial troubles and difficulties now see them play in the third tier of Spanish football. They still have the La Rosalida Stadium, which holds 30,000 people, so it's one of the biggest stadiums at this level of football. Their club captain is Juan De. Their key player is Lucas Sangali. And when we look at the finances, you can see you're probably going to have to sell to buy with no transfer budget and only £69,000 as a wage budget. And that is already overspent by £2,000. This one could go on to be a difficult but rewarding challenge if you can get Malaga back to La Liga and maybe even go one further than they did in the Champions League. Up next, we are off to the Bundesliga 2 in Germany to look at Kaiserslautern. Kaiserslautern are a formerly successful Bundesliga club. However, as recently as 2018, they were relegated to the third tier of German football. In 2022, they had a bounce back, gaining promotion to Bundesliga 2, when a US consortium got involved with the club, helping out with the finances, and helping to steer the club in a new direction. They play their club football at the Fritz Walter Stadion, which holds roughly 49,000 people. Their club captain is Gene Zimmer. Their key player is Boris Tomiak. And their hot prospect is Ilyas Ilyazidi. When you start the game, you will have £342,000 as a transfer budget and £197,000 as your wage budget. You're going to need to spend this wisely as the club squad will need some help to get back to the Bundesliga. If you can take this challenge on, that is the ultimate aim. Can you re-establish Kaiserslautern as a Bundesliga team once again? Up next, we are going to look at by far the biggest name on this list as we go to the Netherlands to look at Ajax. They are a team that in real life will want to forget the 23-24 season completely. They started off in such poor form, they were in the relegation places, they had the fans writing at the stadium, they made a series of bizarre backroom changes, their transfer policy was just odd. They are a team with a huge name and a huge reputation, but if you want to get them back to their former glories, this could take some work as they have a squad that is average at best and could possibly do with a massive overhaul. They play their club football at the Amsterdam Arena, which holds roughly 55,000 people. Their club captain is Steven Bergwijn. Their key player is Jordan Henderson. If you look at the club finances page, you will have £30 million to start you off. They have a wage budget of £833,000. That means that you're going to have enough money to go and spend on players to rebuild the club. But as I said previously, I think this one could be a big job as they're going to really need to overhaul the team if you're going to bring them back to success very quickly. Up next we are off to Japan as we look at Nagoya Grampus in the J-League. They are a big team with a rich history featuring managers such as Arsene Wenger and players like Gary Lineker. They are a team that got promoted back to the J-League in 2017 after one season in the J-League 2. They play their home games at the Nagoya Stadium which holds around 43,000 people. Their club captain is Sho Inagaki. Their key player is M. James Langerak. They start the game with a continental reputation and a great training facility. 
In terms of the finances, you're going to begin with £2.3 million in the bank, but you will be overspent on your wage budget, which is standing at £134,000 available, but spending £138,000. So the first thing to do might be to get some of those high earners off of the wage budget, but in the long term, if you can add the right players, can you build on the success that they have had previously, only winning one J-League? There is a trophy cabinet waiting to be filled. Next up, we are back in England and we're in the Premier League looking at Sheffield United. When Sheffield United got promoted to the Premier League in the 22-23 season, a lot of eyebrows were raised as to whether they would have the quality to stay in the division. They are a team with a rich footballing history in England. As you can see, they have been league champions and they have won the FA Cup. But I do think that in this game, it's going to be a hard job just to keep them in the Premier League without thinking about going on and adding to that collection. They play their games at Bramall Lane, which holds 32,000 people. You'll start off with a national reputation club and a good training facility. In terms of the finances, you'll only be given £500,000 to keep the team in the Premier League. But you will have a wage budget of £707,000. Most of that will be spent already. So your job here is merely just to keep them in the Premier League to begin with. And then can you build on that as you move forward through the season? Reasons. Up next we are off to France and the Championnat de France National as this is Grand Ouest Association Lyonnais FC or Goal FC for short. They are a team that are set up in a village just outside of Lyon and they will be playing at this level of football for the first time. Their club was formed after the merger of several local clubs and they even have a stadium that is named after legend Ludovic Juli. That is where they play their home games in front of around 2,000 people. Their club captain is Loic Dufo. Their key player is Kazim Sulic. You'll start off with a regional reputation as a club and basic training facilities. In terms of the finances to build upon the club, you won't start off with a transfer budget which will make this difficult. You do have a wage budget of just £13,000. So, there is a blank canvas for you to build upon. You can go and really put your stamp on this team if you wish to take the challenge up. It's going to be a difficult one and a long path to the top. Can you make it next to PSG eventually with Goal FC? For the final team on this list, we are off to Italy, and this is Serie C with Virtus V Comp Verona. They are the third biggest team in Verona, and they only turned professional in 2013. The other unique thing about Virtus V Comp Verona is the chairman is not only the chairman, He's actually the club manager in real life. So that means if you take on this challenge, you're going to be judged by not only a person who knows how to run the football club, but also knows how to do your job too. They play their home games at the Stadio Comuniale Gavanin Nocini, which holds around 1,500 people. Their club captain is Domenico Dante. Their key player is also Domenico Dante. And their hot prospect is Francesco Mazzolo. Their reputation is regional and they have basic training facilities. Their finances are £85,000 in terms of a transfer budget. Their wage budget is £32,000, but you'll start with that already overspent. So if you want to take on the other teams in Verona and build this team into a legacy team, you're going to have to first impress the chairperson and then you're going to have to build the squad and just hope that he doesn't give you the sack first. So those are eight teams that I think are a worthwhile challenge after the winter update in Football Manager 2024. Are you going to take on the challenge of any of these teams or are you going to go a different direction and manage somebody else? Let me know down in the comments what you decide to do. Have fun playing the winter update of FM24.